What's up, everybody? Coach PJ on Saturday. Hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. I just wanted to shoot a quick video um, highlighting uh, one of my clients, um, Kara. Shout out to Kara. Uh, I want to show you her nutrition tracking. This is what I'm going to go through is a a perfect example of proper nutrition tracking, and this is what this is what everybody here should be striving for. Okay, Kara came to me right around 150. Um, about six or eight weeks ago, um, and her target calories are around 1450 right now. Um, you know, trying to lose body fat, uh, and I want to show you how she tracks her food because I, I frankly couldn't do this better than she's doing it. Okay, um, so she's she's again her limit is about 1450 per day. This is just one day from her nutrition IAX log. Um, I can tell you that basically every day since she started looks a lot like this. Okay, so let's go through just quickly meal by meal. Breakfast, uh, egg whites, oats, um, and bell peppers, presumably, you know, a bell pepper omelet, right? She's measuring out in grams, all right? <clears throat> she scanned a barcode on her liquid egg whites. She's measured out the grams in a food, on a food scale. She's done the same thing with her oatmeal. Okay, this is a custom food. Anytime you see these gray apples with the buttons, that's a custom entry by her. I highly encourage you guys to make custom entries in Nutrition IX or My Fitness Power, whatever. Every time you go to the store, if you buy a new food, put it in as a custom food. That way you can easily adjust the amounts and you'll have that information forever. Um, it makes life a hell of a lot easier. It's a little bit of front end work, but you know that's the opportunity cost of getting good results. She's also um kind of next level she's she's measuring out fibrous vegetables it's a minuscule 19 calories but she's measuring out fibrous vegetables on a food scale this is also a custom entry okay um, lunch same theme raw chicken breasts measured out on a food scale okay 105 grams uh two uh lawn la banderita i eat these as well these are great very high fiber very low calorie um two tortillas she scanned the barcode okay same thing, uh, measured out 75 grams of romaine lettuce on a food scale. She's measured out her salad dressing in grams, not tablespoons, okay? In grams on a food scale. Same thing with cheese, okay? She's not guessing, she's not assuming, she's not guesstimating, she's not eyeballing. She is measuring things and it's getting, things are getting managed, all right? 15 grams of cheese on a food scale, all right? Perfect. PM snack, great PM snack option. 150 grams of Fahe Greek yogurt, measured out on a food scale. She scanned the barcode here. Uh, same thing, she scanned the barcode on her sliced strawberries, measured out 100 grams on a food scale. I love what she did for dinner. This shows you guys, you can go to a chain restaurant and still stay on track. Okay, she went to Wendy's. Um, Nutrition IX has a, a restaurant section. You can search, right, there's probably 100 restaurants on there. Uh, you can search by a restaurant and then go down their menu uh, and choose, uh, you know, choose what you're going to eat. She went to Wendy's, got a grilled chicken sandwich. I also go to Wendy's a lot and get this same sandwich. Logged it in Nutrition IX. She knows where she stands. Okay. Her late snack, perfect late snack. Protein shake, Beverly Ump, measured out on a food scale. She doesn't just scoop it out and, and, and assumes it's the right amount of calories. She looks at the label. 32 grams is the serving. It's on a food scale. Um, so protein shake with one uh, English Thomas blueberry muffin. I also eat these quite a lot. Um, one muffin, scans the barcode, done. All right. I'm sure this took her probably a total of five minutes to do. All right. And every day with her is basically looks like this. It's high level precise stuff. It's not volume measurements, it's not tablespoons, it's not cups, it's not guesstimating, it's not eyeballing, it's not assuming, it's not going by sizes like medium banana, it's precise, all right? And I also want you to look at her macro breakdown. Her, I mean, she is on this. Her, her recommended protein intake is 130 to 100, uh, I'm sorry, 140 to 160 grams per day. She's right at about 150, okay? Her, and it really, her overall macros are perfect. About a gram per pound of protein, about a gram per pound of carbs, and a very uh, low-fat diet. I think this is ideal, okay, right where she is. Um, you know, you don't have to try to achieve that as long as, you're, as long as you're not going over your calories 
and you're getting in enough protein, you're, you're getting your protein in the range that I set for you, you're fine. Um, she chooses to eat a little bit lower fat diet and I think that that's a good idea because fat is dense um, and you get a very small volume of food for the calories. She's, it, this is basically perfect. Okay, she's also done a, a wonderful job. She's choosing to eat five meals, which is fine. I think for most people, three to four meals, uh, especially if you're a lighter female, three to four meals is the sweet spot. But Kara likes to do five. There's nothing wrong with that. But she's basically evenly distributed her calories. Okay, you know, it's, it's, it's about, you know, three to 400 calories per bigger meal. And then like, you know, uh, 150 to 250 uh, per snack. It's perfect, you know. So anyway, I thought that this would help, um, you know, give you guys, you know, live and in action in a real life situation how to do this stuff. Th this is how you do this, okay. This is A plus level stuff. Like I geek out on this stuff because this is, th this is, this is kind of mastery level nutrition tracking. And like I said, again, I highly doubt she has more than about five, eight, maybe 10 minutes a day wrapped up in, in, in quantifying this stuff from, you know, both from actually measuring things out on a food scale and also logging it and tracking it. That's all the time. I think that's a, that's a small investment in time for a big return in terms of your results, um, you know, in your end game. So anyway, I hope that helps you. Um, I'll be, like I said, I'll be doing more of these type of videos, but I'll wrap it up there. Have a good weekend. Thanks.